Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. I'm finally gonna do a perfume collection video. Yay! I have a pretty big perfume collection. I've been trying to whittle it down for years. Not that you'd be able to tell by looking at this section of my perfume collection. Um, in here I do have, you know, I've got perfumes, I've got eau de toilettes and I've got like fragrance body mists and stuff so you know it's going to be sort of a general fragrance video I'm not going to go through what the notes are of like the official notes of the perfumes um, because I don't know what all of the official notes are I'm just going to tell you what they smell like to me um, fragrance it's one of those things you know it, it smells different on everyone we all have our own like fragrance chemistry so when you spray something on yourself, you might pull out certain tones or certain notes of a fragrance. I'm just going to tell you what I pick up the most on myself. I'm going to start with the two newest additions to my fragrance co collection. I've got the Dolce & Gabbana uh, Limperatrice, I think it is. It's the number three fragrance. Watermelon. That's what I get out of this. Watermelon. And I consider this... <laughs> This is going to sound strange, but to me, this is a thirst quenching fragrance. Um, it's just so fresh and tangy. I, mm, I love it. This is probably like my absolute favorite fragrance in my collection at the moment. I also picked up the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Zest fragrance earlier this year. This is a female version. Um, this is like straight up lemon scent on me and there's a little bit of like a, a spicy or woody note that also comes out um, when I spray it on my body. Let's go down here. Um, this is Versace Bright Crystal. This is kind of like a woody floral on me. It's not my favorite. Um, it is one that I would like to try and use up at some stage this year but it's not actually it's probably a good autumn fragrance it's too woody for summer but it's too fresh and floral for winter so i should probably uh try and get some use out of this one let's do my joe malone's i have three of them um i've got the tropical cherimoya this one smells like fruity pear fragrance I have the mimosa and cardamom this is to me this just smells like a creamy fragrance I don't I don't even really know how to describe it there's sort of like a fruity floralness in there but what I pick out of this the most is that it smells creamy it smells like dessert on me I love it then I have the wild bluebell the wild bluebell this is like a fresh floral and it smells just like bluebells. Over here, this is um, the Essence I Want Candy Scented Body Splash. We're going from massively expensive to only a few dollars over here. This smells like peach. Artificial peach. It's not, you know, super amazing, fresh, delicious peach. It's artificial peach, but I don't mind it every now and then. I have a vanilla body oil over here and I am actually panning one of these. These were made by um, a friend of mine who has just like a hobby. She likes to make um, fragrance oils and she, she was wearing a vanilla one one day and I complimented her on it because it smelled amazing and she gave me two little roll-ons. So um, I'm using one at the moment. I am trying to pan it because I have had these for a while. This one I've never opened. Um, but I actually, I quite enjoy like pairing the vanilla oil with things like the Essence um, body spray or even other fragrances. Um, the vanilla oil, it adds a vanilla hint to pretty much any fragrance that I mix it with. So I actually find it to be quite a useful little product. Back here, I have the Vera Wang Princess. Um, this is a like 
it's a white floral but it's kind of spicy and I, I pull a few notes of vanilla out of it um, not an absolute favorite but I really do enjoy the bottle it's very pretty it's a love heart very cute um, another one that I would like to try and pan at some stage uh, I try and keep them I keep my fragrances like away from natural light and in a pretty well controlled temperature area um, so I'm hoping that uh, this will survive until I can get to it. I have had it for a while though. This one here is the Eccentric Molecules um, 04. I quite like this one. It's a spicy lemon scent. Um, I would say it's, oh, it's a little bit like the Dolce & Gabbana except I pull a lot more spicy notes out of this because if you know anything about these eccentric molecule fragrances, it's a single molecule um, that smells different on everyone and it's very common that you can't actually smell it on yourself. So when I wear this, um, I mostly just smell lemon, but I do get hints of like a spiciness. Uh, I don't know what other people think it smells like on me but there we go it's, it's like a lucky dip of fragrance um hiding back here I have the Zoella Botanic O body mist I just got this really recently from the Priceline Beauty Prescription Live and what does it smell like it you know it's a little bit like this guy back here which is the uh, CK2 from Calvin Klein um, it's sort of like fresh green but this is a bit sweeter um, and not I would say not as refined as the CK2 but it's a really nice fragrance I'm very happy to have it in my stash I would absolutely wear it while we're talking about the um, CK2 fragrance I think this smells like spicy water it's so strange it's a really it's it's a really fresh scent it kind of reminds me of like if you go to an area where there is a lot of greenery, um, so like a forest, and if you're around a waterfall, the water and the plant matter, like, you know, sort of like wet soil. Um, or if you are one of those people who can smell when it's about to rain, it smells a bit like that. So it's kind of got like this ozone scent it's so interesting I really love it um, I would say like okay these are a little bit similar but mm, they're different they're different and if I had to choose one over the other if if I was only allowed one I would choose the CK2 because it's it's a really really beautiful interesting scent okay let's go back here to this guy this, this is the Bath and Body Works Face and Body Mist from the, oh, it was like the water range or something like that. Um, now, I forgot I even had this. What does it even smell like? You can tell I've used it a lot. Okay, so this range, this water range from Bath and Body Works, I purchased a couple of their like body moisturizers and a body scrub. Their body scrub was absolutely divine. And it all has this very specific scent. It's kind of like coconut, fresh watery scent. So again, kind of along the lines of the CK2 um, and the Zoella, it's sort of got like an ozone hint to it, but there is a lot of coconut scent in this. And I bought this because I thought it would be like a nice body mist to use during summer. And I completely forgot that I even owned it and never used it. So I pulled it out and put it in my stash. I really need to show some love to that guy. Over here is another one of my lemon scents. This is the La Vanilla Fresh Vanilla Lemon. This is exactly what it says it is. It is lemon and vanilla and it's beautiful. Um, so this is basically it's like taking a lemon scent like the Dolce & Gabbana and mixing the vanilla oil with it. Um, it's just, yeah, it's nice and simple, 
but it's effective because you get like the the rich and creaminess from the vanilla but you get the fresh zestiness from the lemon over here is my all-time favorite winter fragrance this is Lancôme Tresor Midnight Rose this is oh, it's this is probably the sexiest fragrance I've ever smelt it's dark and sultry and mm, I adore it so I get like, okay, rose, obviously, but also like berries. And I think maybe blackberries or something like that. Um, and it's also quite spicy and woody. I adore that fragrance and I can smell it. Like if I, if I go out and I walk past someone who's wearing it, I can pick that fragrance from a mile. It is one of my like longest running favorite fragrances and back here I have another bath and body works fragrance this is the Tahiti Island dream from like I said bath and body works um, this smells like a fruit salad it's like watermelon pineapple it's very fruity I think there's some coconut in there as well I actually really love this and I mean you can see I've used up almost the whole bottle um, I actually really don't mind Bath and Body Works like fragrance sprays. Um, I think they're they're quite nice. If you find a scent that you like, um, they're like affordable, but not too bad. Okay, let's talk about these guys. So these are the Katy Perry fragrances, and I think they're. I think they're Killer Queen and this one's like, I think it was the Royal Revolution, something like that. Maybe they're all Killer Queen. I don't know. I like, I kind of don't even care. I'm going to say this about these fragrances. I purchased them because I love the bottles and then I never wore them. I don't know if you can tell, but like you can see with this pink one and maybe the purple one where the little air bubbles are, which shows like how little I've used. I probably use all of these in total half a dozen times. <laughs> um, that's pretty bad. Now, I don't hate them. I just don't love them. And I've got so many other perfumes that I would prefer to use. And the, the other thing that irks me about these is the like the pink bottle and the purple bottle once you spray the fragrance out of them they're just going to be clear like glass bottles there's going to be no color to the glass the blue and the red that's all good because the glass is actually colored blue and red um but i'm begrudged to use these two because then they're just like empty glass bottles and i actually I have a, a little collection of like really cute um, perfume bottles that I've been holding on to. And when I purchased these, I was like, oh, they'd be nice to add to my collection. But I feel like I'm moving away from wanting to do that. So I don't know about these. I just kind of keep them as they are because they look pretty. And to be fair, if they did go bad, I wouldn't really be upset about it. I got them at a good price, so mm, it's a thing. Basically, these are all either fruity or floral scents with something to try and make them seem more complex, like spiciness or woodiness. Like, I don't know. They, look, they're okay, but I wouldn't recommend buying all of them. Um, back here, okay, this is Ascada absolutely me and <laughs> dirty little secret i fucking love escada fragrances so the scent that i mostly get from this is like a sweet fresh raspberry um i purchased this off strawberry net now strawberry net is a bit iffy i know um but i went into an escada store in chadston and i was like do you guys sell your fragrances and they're like no there's no one in australia that stocks them 
They said if you go on to Strawberry Net, though, those fragrances are authentic from Escada. They're just generally a little bit like older stock. And um, I was like, well, if that's my only option, I'm doing it. So I did. I purchased an Escada fragrance from um, Strawberry Net and I actually don't have any regrets. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, and I mean, you can see I haven't used it a whole lot, but I have had a go at it. And I do, I will admit that I, I kind of squirrel this one away, uh, because I know that they're not like, I can't just pop down to the shop and, um, pick one up if, if I'm feeling it. Uh, I do have to buy it online and I, it does feel a little bit risky to me. So I feel like with this one, I got lucky. Um, and I kind of, yeah, I squirrel it away. I kind of treasure that one. Back here, I have a Toka Meet the Girls fragrance collection. I've actually had this for a really long time. Um, so inside, let's open it up and show you. There we go. So what do we got? Three, six, ten fragrances. These are the little spray bottles. Um, Toka usually do a set kind of like this or similar uh, for their holiday releases. Often they are um, like rollerball. So I felt very pleased to have been able to get the little spray bottles. Um, but yeah, it's just got a bunch of Toka's fra fragrances in there. Um, I don't really have a favorite but there is a, uh, I think there's a Florence, she's there, the green one, um, and my, my nan's name was Florence, so I have a bit of a soft spot for that one, um, but I actually, I will say this about Toka fragrances, I think they're all quite nice, they are all um, florals, so if you don't like floral fragrances, these aren't ever going to be up your alley, um, but I quite like them, so yeah, that's a nice little selection of the Toka fragrances, and I rarely use them. And again, it's probably because I love the set so much. I kind of squirrel them away and, you know, I use them very sparingly. So we're getting towards the end of the collection. Um, let's talk about this guy first. This is from a brand called Solonotes, um, and this is the Cherry Scent. Now, I told you guys I'm going to tell you what I smell. When I smell these, I actually don't get much cherry from this. I smell like apple, green apple, um, and like a little bit of a, a creaminess. I don't know what that's coming from. It's not like vanilla, um, but it's it's something else. I don't know what it is, but that's what I pick up um, when I wear this fragrance. Now, you can actually get these at Priceline. And this range, I think the bottles retail for like $30 or something. Like they're fairly affordable. Um, how much is in there? I'd say, oh yeah, 50 mil. Okay. So they're 50 mil bottles and they're designed to be layered with other fragrances from the range. So they have a whole bunch of them and like you can wear the, the fragrances individually, of course, but they kind of encourage you to like layer your favorite scents to create a custom scent to you, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but this was my favorite from the line. It's really nice. It's fresh. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy, a little bit creamy. I really enjoy that one. This one here is another um, celebrity fragrance. This was actually sent to me in PR like years and years and years ago. Um, it is the Beyonce Heat. I would consider this a dark floral with vanilla notes. This one, again, I would consider it um, a like a winter scent. When I smell this straight out of the bottle, it smells really spicy and I don't like it. But when it's on my body, that's when it really starts to shine for me. And that's when I smell that like vanilla sort of scent and the... It's like a dark, rich floral. I really like that one. Um, but again, it, it's one that if I had smelt this in a store, I wouldn't have picked it up. But because it was sent in PR and I tried it and I wore it and I actually got to appreciate it for what it was, 
that's when I really like, I was like, okay, okay. I see what you're doing, Beyonce. It's not too bad. Um, then back here, mm, look, it's not, I will say I didn't really want to feature these ones because some of you will know, I just don't really want to support Cap on D at the moment, but these were purchased pre um, being a little bit disappointed with Kat Von D. They are the Saint and Sinner perfumes. I do have both. I've barely used them. Um, the Saint is kind of like a fruity floral with vanilla. It's very generic, guys. I'm, and this is, again, I consider this kind of like a celebrity fragrance. It's nice, but it's, it's nothing special. Um, and the Sinner Saint is pretty much the same but it, it's got like woody and spicy notes to it i i am gonna say this i don't know what the technical notes are um of these fragrances but i feel like they are the same fragrance this one is just made darker basically with like packaging obviously and like woody notes spicy notes stuff like that so there's that. Um, the reason I purchased these is for the bottles. I think they are absolutely beautiful. And even, you know, not wanting to be supportive of that particular brand at this time, I still appreciate these beautiful bottles. Okay, let's do my Decay and Y fragrances. These guys are difficult for me because I often get them mixed up and I forget which one's which and what I love about it. So I actually had to write down notes to remember these. So the pink and the green here at the front with this sort of matte opaque lid. Um, these are from the Delicious Delights collection. The pink one is called Fruity Rooty, and the name just makes me fucking cringe. This, when I smell this, just like taking the lid off and smelling it, I really don't like it, and I actually wonder why I even bought it. It's not until I spray it on myself that I remember what I love about this. This is, it smells like orange on me, like a fresh orange orange you know when you get a fresh orange and it's like sweet and tangy at the same time that's what this smells like on me and it's probably in terms of like having an orange fragrance in my collection this is the most unique to that um, but when I take the lid off and smell it I'm like Ugh, what is this and why did I buy it I would never wear this but when it's on me, it pulls out orange and I adore it. Um, so Delicious Delights. This is the green one. Um, it's called, I think it's, hang on. It's Cool Swirl. Um, this one is kind of like, it's a floral, um, but it's got coconut and vanilla hints as well. I consider this a very summery fragrance. Um, I quite like it. Not a favorite, but, you know, definitely something that, I'm happy to wear. Back here we have the Be Tempted um, red. I think there might be other colors of this, but anyway, um, this smells like red apples on me. Um, and I love the packaging, the red apple with the serpent. It's look, I like it. Um, so yeah, mostly red apple. And I think there's a little bit of like a berry hint that I sometimes pick up in there, but it's not like the most, it's not the most prominent scent that I get from it. Red apple is, is really what I pick up. This one here is, um, the Be Desired scent. I don't know if it's got like another name. I don't know if there's others in the range. I don't know. I just, there's so many of these DKNY apple fragrances. I'm bloody confused. Um, anyway, Be Desired. This is um, like a citrusy floral scent. Nothing super amazing and unique uh, to my collection, but still very nice. And back here, I have the um, Be Delicious Crystallized. Is that right? Yes, Crystallized. Um, this smells like fresh green apples and 
it's probably my favorite. I really enjoy the packaging on this one, the scent. Um, I have had these for a few years and I do feel like I need to sort of start putting them in rotation and using them, but hmm, it's a lot, it's a lot to get through. And then back here, I've got just like little cups of um, sort of travel size fragrances. I'm not gonna, like I've got some of the bigger ones. I've got Clinique Happy Heart, which I really love. I love Clinique Happy Fragrances. Um, I have the Bright Peach fragrance from, oh gosh, who is it? Oh, A Pew. Um, that came in the Yes Style Advent Calendar. I really like that. That's a beautiful, like actual fresh peach scent. Um, so if I was to compare it to like the Essence one, this is like peach lollies and this is like peach off a tree. So there's that. Another one that I think is, uh, it's pretty impressive. This is from Replica. Uh, it's the Jazz Club fragrance and the Replica fra fragrances are so interesting. They are meant to like replicate sort of memories and stuff like that. Um, and the Jazz Club one, it smells like leather and like sort of open fireplaces and a little bit of alcohol and like cigarettes and I don't know it's really cool I really like these replica fragrances and I buy more they're just they're expensive and I got a lot of fragrance and then back here I just have some minis um I really don't use these a lot and I probably should um, I've got like a bunch of Marc Jacobs ones uh, this one is from Juicy Couture I just got it recently I have a tiny little mini of the Machino, oh, sorry, Moschino uh, Fresh. There's a, what's that? Dylan Blue from, oh, is it Versace? Yes, Versace. Um, and then I've got, I think this is Caroline Herrera. Is it Good Girl? Or I don't know. It's something like that. This is, um, oh, it's Mum's favorite. The Mum's favorite. How can I forget? Uh, love you, Belle. Love you, Belle. So, yeah, there's a bunch of littles back there. I actually really like my love for collecting mini perfume bottles is where it all started. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to collect some big bottles as well. But look, then you finally come to your senses and you realize it's a bad idea. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. That is my fragrance collection. So that's it, guys. Um, they're my fragrance babies and I, I still want to whittle this down. I, <sighs> it takes a long time and I, I kind of, every year I look at my collection and I'm like, I want to have it by the end of the year. Never happens. It's a completely unrealistic goal. Um, but yeah, especially considering that a lot of these bottles are still full and I, I use them so sparingly and I squirrel them away because I'm so precious about them. Um, but I shouldn't be because, you know, fragrance is there to be worn and enjoyed. Uh, but that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely let me know if you saw any of your favorites here or if there's any that you simply did not get along with. Um, I know, like, I've experienced that myself, where you buy a fragrance because you think it is the absolute bee's knees, and then when it comes to wearing it, it just does not work with your body chemistry. It's a thing, and it can be really upsetting. Um, but that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.